Folks who regularly watch us in the morning know that I am all about inclusion. We talk about it regularly. Typically, we're talking about things, at least with me, that have to do with people of any and all abilities. This morning, I'm learning something new, and hopefully you at home will as well, as we turn that conversation on inclusion to include ageism. Today is Ageism Awareness Day, and joining me this morning is note Nicole Fadanza from Quinnipiac University, working in the occupational therapy world over there. Your students are vibrant. They are everywhere all the time doing some great work. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So we hear ageism. What is it? So ageism is discrimination against someone based on their age and the prejudices and unconscious biases we may hold based on age and correlating age with ability. And you hear, I mean, my nieces and nephews will say, oh, you're so old, or they'll poke fun at grandma. And like, I don't think they mean anything badly bad about it, but but it can impact somebody. Absolutely, and that's the thing. It's everywhere in our culture in terms of TV, you know, movies, kids shows. My kids watch Bluey and they, they project older adults in a not so negative light. So we're absorbing these messages that age is associated with, you know, being confused, being cranky, being less physically capable. None of it is true. Bluey makes my childhood seem like it was the time of the dinosaurs <laughs> on that show. How does it impact somebody's health? So in terms of health, we also grow up in this culture that we internalize these beliefs about age, whether we realize it or not. So someone may have a health issue, pain, cognitive changes, maybe they're more unsteady on their feet. They think I'm just getting older and they don't do anything about it. Um, that's not the case. They should be seeking help and getting medical attention as soon as they can to try to prevent a snowball from forming. And, and it sounds like in your world you're saying empowering people with information, make good choices about your health, and you can, I mean, you can't stop the clock necessarily, but you can right. help yourself out. Absolutely. And, and just recognizing age is a number. You know, again, if there's a concern, seek help. Um, don't assume that it's just a typical part of, of growing old. I, I learned something new this morning. There's a lot that's great about Quinnipiac University. We have folks on a lot, but you guys are an age-friendly yes. university. Speak to what that means about the culture on campus and, and what it means for your yeah. learning community. So we became an age-friendly university back in 2020. Um, there was a group of us who work with older adults in various capacities who formed a coalition and put in the proposal. Um, and what that means, it's a global movement. Um, there's institutions around the world in higher ed that are dedicated to preparing students to understand ageism, um, stop it from happening, and how to best work with older adults in whatever professional journey they go on. I feel the, the best way we can use this couch is if somebody leaves here learning something new, but hopefully that we can empower somebody to make a choice in life. For somebody who's watching this morning and they're hearing this, that this is even a concern for the first time, like what do you want a viewer to know when it comes to ageism and, and the people in our community? Yeah, I think number one, to recognize what it is, to know that it's out there. It's one of the many isms in our world. And when we think of diversity, equity, inclusion, we should be including ageism in that. And then also to recognize when it's happening and to try to change check their own maybe biases or educate someone else who may be just take a st yeah, step unaware. back we're learning something new listen i wear my inclusion bracelet every day i can now add ageism to the conversation absolutely thank you for teaching thank me you. something new it was nice to have you on the couch thank you for having me and